Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a brand new episode, brand new segment from Macomb Medical Podcast. Live view from the studios of Oak Hill Olivet College. Back here is my roommate, big pal, good pal, Andrew Venzu. He's going to help me out uh, on this video today. Um, this is a video that we see uh, a lot of uh, on YouTube and stuff uh, where people draft certain songs with certain bands. And um, especially in my case, I'm not really sure about yours, but especially in my case, one band that's always stuck out to me and who I absolutely adore more than anything in the world. I can listen to every single album on repeat and it never gets old is Wage War all the way from Ocala, Florida. Um, they're my favorite band of all time. And uh, this morning, they just announced a brand new headline tour uh, all across America. I want to say it's like 25 staff or something like that uh, with support from Nothing Nowhere and Spite. And uh, I thought what perfect opportunity would it be for us to talk about Wage War and do a Wage War song draft on the same day they announced their, they announced their headliner. I'm not gonna be able to make. Uh, I'm I'm not, and he's not going to either, because we'll both be busy that day. We're not gonna be able to make uh, the Wage War Detroit date, so we're looking at other options. And I've been spending this whole morning trying to convince him to go to Cincinnati with me, and we honestly haven't gotten anywhere. I don't think. Like the tickets have been in my cart on multiple occasions, and I'm like, I'm buying these, and then he just walks out the door, and I'm like. I don't know if I should buy it. I think I've seen Wage War the most out of any bands. I, I think, think it's three for. I think it's two or three for me. Or no, I think it's three. Maybe two. I don't know. Well, I'm trying to think. I don't know. They're great live. Uh, they're good. I know. I saw them one extra time because I went and sh drove all the way to, all the way to Chicago on a three hour trip just to see a headline tour. And dude, they're doing a headlining set, which means they'll probably play Johnny Cash on it. Like Johnny Cash live is phenomenal. Yeah. Like, it's unreal. I don't think anything could top my favorite song. Like, Gravity for sure. It, that that hits, dude. Dude, that is that is something. Dude, it, in Grand Rapids when we saw him for the first time and they played Gravity, like I kid you not, I've cried at two concerts in my life. I cried when Shine Down came out uh, when I saw them for the first time back when I was big into them, and then as soon as Gravity came on and Wage War was playing in Grand Rapids, there were like multiple tears that came out of my eyes. Like it was it was phenomenal. That song is beautiful. In and out, but Gravity Live, or excuse me, Johnny Cash Live is something you cannot beat, and I think we should do it, bro. It is only four and a half hours. We'll see. Four and a half hours for Nothing Nowhere, Spite, and the Kings of Metalcore Wage War. All dude, they're coming all the way from Florida, all the way to Cincinnati. We got to do it. Well, they're going all the way across the country. Yeah, and we can't go to Detroit, and so our next best option is Cincinnati. It's four and a half hours away. The Bengals are probably going to win the Super Bowl. That city's going to be buzzing still, even though it's in May. It's going to be sick. All right, but let's get into this. Regardless, on today's episode, me and Andrew are going to be doing a wage war draft, which, if you guys watched these before, it's where it's two people and you draft songs just in general in order of, like, this is my number one pick. It's basically meaning it's your favorite song. And you basically just list your five favorite songs, but, like, obviously, like, if my number two is his number one, I draft first. So, like... It's just fun. It's like a draft, and uh, and we're just gonna see what happens. Uh, I'm pretty sure you've been cheating off my list because I made it first, I and I see sure. there's a lot more on yours and mine. So I, I guess got, we'll I, see. I got the albums up right here. I need yeah. a little refresher. Yeah. Do you want to do a uh, like like rock paper scissors for first pick? Sure. All right. And shoot. Yeah. All right. Your first pick. All right, I'm going Stitch first. I think it is. Uh, uh, it's my favorite song by far. Yeah, that's it. That was a great pick. Yeah. Was that your number one? No, it was my number two, actually. But uh, my number one pick should be The River. Uh, absolutely iconic. Yeah. Uh, it was my uh, it was my walkout song my freshman year. And Stitch is my walkout song this year. A shout out to Seth Blake. Seth, if you're watching this, thanks for picking my walkout song in the past two years. Uh, and this year we're riding with Stitch. Stitch was my number two on my list. Two heavy ones to start off. I mean, I mean... I'm not going heavy for my next one. I mean, like, I feel like... If you're doing a wage war draft, the first two songs are going to be Stitch in the River. It just depends yeah. on interchangeable. Yeah. Those are one and two. But, so yeah. All Round right. two, pick we're, one. We're going my favorite live song. We're going Gravity number two. That's a great pick. Not as heavy as the first two, obviously, but it's just a beautiful song. See, er, on my list here, like, I don't have Gravity on there just solely oh. based off of the fact. Just, so, just solely based off the fact that that's not something that I'm going to like. 
I, I could listen to it all the time. I mean, like, I can listen to it all the time, 1,000%. But, like, if I'm thinking Wage War, I'm not thinking Gravity. I'm you, thinking, you gotta add a little bit of it all in. I'm thinking Stitch. Yeah, name Stitch all of the River. <laughs> Three, four, five, six, seven, all of it. Their whole discography is phenomenal. My number two pick is going to be, are we going to go with my walkout song last year, Death Roll. Absolute banger. Um, I think that the opening riff to that and the guitar in that is absolutely phenomenal. Um, and I think like the whole thing with them become, or, or with them coming from Florida, there's gators, swallow you, or, or I drag you down in Death Roll. It's insane. Um, and, uh, yeah, I'd say Death Roll's one of their best songs. And, and it's probably one of their heaviest songs, too. It doesn't yeah, get Death enough Rose credit. Death Roll's a good song. All right, round three's up. We're not going to go to the new album. We're going to go with Low. I'm gonna take Dang you, bro. I think, I think I got a solid top three, man. Dang you, bro. This well, is when it gets tough for me, because like, all the rest of the, the they're pretty equal now. All my favorite songs are pretty much gone. Well, now that you've taken Low and Stitch from me, I just had to add a new one. It was another honorable mention that I was thinking about writing down, but there's just so many bangers I couldn't like put this one. I couldn't swap it in with any. Uh, for my round three pick, uh, we're going to go with one of my favorite live songs. If you guys haven't ever seen Wage War live, do a headline show, see the song live. It's in like somewhere in Europe, I think. Go to YouTube, type in Wage War Johnny Cash Live. Johnny Cash is one of the coolest most perfect songs is like er I just said recording absolutely phenomenal live 10 times better uh when I saw them in Chicago and I saw Cody live in person in front of my own eyes actually hit that high note it was unreal like I can't believe that a human being can get their voice that high that perfectly pitched and a phenomenal song all around bro you know what's crazy about this song I hated this song I I wasn't a fan at first until you played it uh about 20 times in the car in a week. See, like, that's not my on. fault. That ain't my fault. But I hated this song, and I heard the uh, a strip version of it, and I was like, you know what? This song isn't that bad. I guess I'll try out the, like, or I guess I'll try out the real version. Banger, dude. At, like, I was blown away. I think on my way back from Chicago when I saw them, and I saw them, I'll play this live for the first time, I think I listened to this song. It's a three-hour drive from Chicago to here and back. Uh, I want to say in the six hour drives, in the six hours in the car total, I want to say I listened to the song about 15 times, like an unhealthy amount. And you're still not sick of it. I mean, still not song. sick of it. All right. Around four. Oh up. man. Okay. This is, this gets tough here. I'm actually going to go not off my list. I'm going to go with the live. That's a dude. That is I a very that, underrated track. I think that is a sleeper. That's a very yeah. underrated track. It's really good live, really yeah. good on recording. That's why I picked it, because live. It's really good yeah. on recording. I, I like it live a lot. I mean, uh, recording's uh, great, too. But. Oh, bro, that's a great pick. I didn't even think about that. That's a great pick. Uh, for my round four pick, we're also going to go another sleeper here. Um, this is a song. It's only been played live one time. Uh, it was in Florida. I, I wasn't there. I didn't see it. Um, a song that, like, air... Uh, I'm not sure if I like it more so because of the lyrics or just because of how good of a song is, how well produced it is. Fourth round pick, I'm going indestructible, and I don't care what anybody thinks. So, like, if anybody's watching this and you want to clown on me, sh go for it. I'm taking indestructible with my fourth round pick. F absolutely f phenomenal song. It's deep. It's it's heavy. It's fun. It hits you in the heart, and it's just all around a great check. I was not. I I wouldn't. I would not. I, I was not expecting that. That would. I don't think that would have even been on my top ten. If we did a top ten pick. Really? Yeah. I don't think so. It. It. I, in my personal opinion, I think it's the most underrated Wage War song, and I think it's one of the best songs they have, and it doesn't get talked about enough. Yeah. And I'm glad that they finally played it live for the first time. Like I want to say a year or so ago. Like that song deserves so much more credit than it actually gets. All right. Now we're getting down to the nitty gritty. Last round. Fifth round. Let's see what we got. So you got to go with the song off the new album. I can't. I can't go top five and not not give credit to the new album. But uh, see, there's a lot of good songs in it. I'm gonna go with. Uh, if you steal uh, this one, I'm gonna be so mad. I got three. I'm deciding from right now. Yeah, and if it's the one, I'm th if it's the one I'm thinking about, my second favorite song in that album, I'm gonna be really upset. I think I know you're going number five. Are you gonna steal it on purpose then? No, no, no. Good. You know, I'm going um 
I'm going to go High Horse. That's a great pick. It was either that or um, Circle the Drain for me. Really? I think yours is Manic, isn't it? No. Really? But, like, if we did a six pick, it was going to be Manic, but it's not. Uh, dude, I remember when High Horse came out, it was midnight on a Friday, and it was, like, 12.07, and I opened Instagram, and Wage War, like, had, like, a whole video out, and I was, like, no way Wage War just dropped the track, watched the music video, heavy, brutal, everything you want in a Wage War track, absolutely phenomenal pick. Like, like, High Horse is one of those songs that, like, it doesn't matter if you're, like, a Wage War fan or not, you have to like that song. Like, there's no, like, there's no if, ands, buts about it. Yeah. Like, it's a great song, great metalcore song. My last pick, round five. If we had six, if we did six we'll rounds. Honor, we'll do an honorable mention. All right, we'll do an honorable mention. My fifth pick is a brand new song from the new album. It was a single on the album. We're going Teeth. I absolutely love, I love the opening of this track. It's fun. It's groovy. And it's just one of the things that's, that I like a lot about the new album is it's, it's like groovy, but it's like, it's, it's still metal, but it's got like that, like real electronic disc to it. Yeah. And it like and they perfectly combine the two. Like Seth, Cody, Steven, uh Britton, and uh, I'm trying to think. Air and one more. I am forget I'm drawing a blank right now. They absolutely killed this album and I think er I don't think this is my favorite album by them. Maybe. Just be which like it's not a diss on it. It's a phenomenal album. Like er I would say this album is a nine point nine out of ten. And then like I'll put A, I'd say I, I'd say the only album I'd put above it is Dead Weight and Pressure, in that order. Air, mm-hmm. If we're talking albums, I go Dead Weight, Pressure, Manic, Blueprints. That's not a diss on any of them. Like they're all nine point nines out of ten. We have one song from Pressure on here, and it covers <coughs> way more songs. Huh? We have one song from Pressure on our list. Er, bro, you know it's also very, very that's a great track. album though, and we only have one song. No, it just shows like how how well like Wage War is like all across. Like all their albums are just bangers. Bro, you know what's a lot or er, a very underrated track on that album that doesn't get talked about enough is "Take the Fight." Yeah, that riff, that, is a good song. that riff in the beginning doesn't like it doesn't get talked about enough. That is a good song. Absolutely phenomenal track. Yeah. All right, so now we'll do one one honorable mention. I'm just going with "Slow Burn" because I think that is my favorite lyrics in a in a Wage War song. And it's not it's not crazy heavy, you know. And I think the lyrics just hit. It's also beautiful. Yeah. The it, lyrics, the singing, it's it's just it's awesome. Uh for my for my honorable mention, we're also gonna go a song off Manic. I literally already leaked it. It's the it's the title track, Manic. Um I love in that song when Britain's voice gets all raspy and then just screams manic out of nowhere. That like er I remember when that album dropped, that music video came out, I fell asleep at like ten thirty at night. Woke up at like 12.30, and I was like, I can't believe I missed Midnight for this album. And then, I was mean you were in the dorm still, and I woke you up, because I was banging Manic. Wasn't Wage War your most listened to band? Yeah, I think 65 hours or something like that. Like, that's literally almost three days worth. So, yeah. basically, three days worth of my 2022 were spent listening to these dudes from Ocala. It's not a bad way to spend them. Spend that. Not at all. So that wraps up our draft. Um, er, I thoroughly enjoyed this. I think we should do this yeah, with a lot I, more bands. I think it was fun. Yeah. Well, we I mean, got ten great songs right here. Twelve, if we're being honest. Yeah. There's so many though. There's this. This list doesn't even like encompass. Yeah. N- not at all. Like I. Me bro, we myself, I'm surprised do... I left that off. I was gonna put that in there. That's a banger track. Like. Yeah. Like. That song hits here, bro. Yeah, it is good. Like, er, I could honestly say we could do a top 40, like a 40 <laughs> round draft. Like, every single one of their songs, put them in order. And, like, every single song is, like, a 10 out of 10. Yeah. The, like, eh, I think I said earlier, might not be yours, my favorite band by a mile. Like, in terms of bands, it goes Wage War, Knock Loose, No Idea. And,. So I'm glad we started off our first draft with with Wage War. Yeah, that was fun. This one was fun, but um, yeah. So, so that's what we got for you guys today. Um, if you guys saw in the beginning of the video, um, uh, this video is brought to you by SeatGeek. Uh, I use my code. I'm a co Metalcore for twenty dollars off your first purchase of fifty dollars or more. So use that up and enjoy any concert you want to go to, sporting event, 
Broadway play, just anything like that. If it uh, has tickets, it's on SeatGeek. And so get those and use my code. It'll save yourself money. And so why not use it? Um, if you guys like this, I drop a like, comment on it, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok. And uh, yeah, I thank you guys for listening and we'll see you guys soon.